Hey mat lovers, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and click the bell button for more updates and my videos. Ayan, so for our vlog this time, we're gonna have another set of special product and that will be all about square of a binomial. So how do we identify square of a binomial? Okay, now I'm giving you our first example. So let's have here the square of the quantity of x plus 6. So this is how we're going to identify if the given is an example of a square of a binomial. We have here the square of this binomial. So this is a binomial x plus 6 with two terms and it has been or it is being squared. Now our problem is to get the product of this square of a binomial. So we have here our answer. It is equal to x squared plus 12x plus 36. Question, how did we get, th get this? So we'll have three steps in getting the product of the square of a binomial. The first one is we're going to get the square of the first term. So our first term is x. Get the square, we'll have x times x equals x squared. The next step will be we're going to get the product of all the um, numbers or variable that we can see here will get the product of the exponent, the first term, and the second term. So by doing, we'll have 2 times positive x times positive 6 plus positive 12x. And for the third step, we're gonna get the square of the second term. Our second term is positive 6. So, positive 6 times positive 6, that is equal to positive 36. That is why for the square of the quantity of x plus 6, it's equal to x squared plus 12x plus 36. Yes, not lovers, let's have our second example still on getting the product of the square of a binomial. We have here our problem. We have the square of the quantity of x plus 10. Our answer is x squared plus 20x plus 100. Of course, we'll have three steps to get the answer. The first step is to get the square of the first term. The first term is positive x. So positive x times positive x equals x squared. Next step, get the product of the exponent, the first term, and the second term. So, 2 times positive x times positive 10 equals positive 20x. And for the last step, get the square of the second term. Our second term is positive 10. So, positive 10 times positive 10, that is equal to positive 100. Then, therefore, uh, the quantity of the, or the square of the quantity of x plus 10 equals x squared plus 20x plus 100. Yes, but lovers, next example we have here, the square of the quantity of y minus 5. Our variable here is y. Uh, on our uh, two examples, we have the variable x. Now, let's have y. Uh, our answer is y squared minus 10y plus 25. So, let's have the three steps. First step, okay, you'll have get the square of the first term. Positive y times positive y equals y squared. Next step get the product of the exponent, the first term, and the second term. So, 2 times positive y times negative 5 is equal to negative 10y. And for the last step, get the square of the second term. Our second term is negative 5. Do not forget to include the sign. Negative 5 times negative 5 
is equal to positive 25. Thus, our answer is y squared minus 10y plus 25. Yes, but lovers, let's end our discussion there by having three examples. I hope you have learned uh, from those three examples. So let's now have the recap of the three steps in getting the product of the square of a binomial. What are the three steps, the three easy steps that we have? First, what's the first step? Get the square of the first term. Second step, get the product of the exponent, the first term, and the second term. And of course, be mindful of be mindful of the signs. And for the third step, get the square of the second term. So, my lovers, please bear those in mind and keep on learning, keep on watching, and be my lovers. Oh, 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 oh,